I'm Charlie Duffy for the Dulux How To Series on Interior Surfaces. We all know that painting your walls can be a very rewarding experience. Take a look at this gorgeous room. With a little elbow grease and some expert know-how, you can easily refresh your dining area. Let's find out how. As you can see, this room needs a little bit of a refresh, so I brought my mate Drew along to give me a hand. Let's clear these chairs and tables to make some room to work in. Good idea. So we've laid down our drop sheet and cleaned the wall with sugar soap. You may think you'd be okay to skip cleaning the wall, but it's a really important part of painting. Dirt, dust and grease can potentially ruin your paint job. As you can also see, we've masked the trim for cutting in. Now we're ready to begin. Today we'll be using Dulux Wash & Wear Low Sheen in Antique White USA. Load your brush up by dipping into the paint about an inch, then wipe the paint off on one side only. Start with the brush an inch off the corner, slowly moving it towards the cut-in point. This will help you find your true line before you hit the edge or corner. Don't cut in too far ahead because you'll need to keep a wet edge of your roller to blend into the brushed paint. If your cut-in brushwork dries before you get to it with your roller, you'll end up with two coats of paint in one spot, which can lead to picture framing. Use the same technique to cut in around anything else you've masked off. Now that's done, it's time for the first coat of paint. Loading your roller in the right way is very important to achieve a consistent finish. Make sure you have an even cover of paint all the way around the roller sleeve. A good test is to push the roller forward on the tray, then lift it up to see if it spins evenly. If it doesn't, or if it feels heavier on one side, it means the paint isn't even and you should load it again. Now starting from the edge where you cut in, roll across the wall. Try to roll as close to where you cut in as possible. You may have heard of the clock theory. Roll 12 to 6, then diagonally 2 to 8. Or you can paint the W pattern. This will help you achieve an even thickness across the wall. Once you've finished about 3 or 4 metres, it's time to lay off your paint. Laying off the paint is the most important part of rolling a wall. Start with your roller not loaded with paint and rest it in the top left hand corner. Make sure the closed end of the roller, that's the part where the handle meets the roller, is on the right while the open end is on the left. Gently let your roller roll itself straight down the wall with almost no pressure, just gravity until you get to the bottom. Then take your roller off the wall, overlap it slightly at the top and roll down the wall again. You'll be making a line down one side, then rubbing it out with the other, working your way across the wall. Once you're done, it's clean up time. But don't worry, because cleaning up is easy. Just add Dulux Enviro Solutions Waste Paint Hardener to your leftover paint to turn it into a hard waste. This can then be removed from the paint can and wrapped in a newspaper, which can be safely disposed of. We all love a simple solution that's good for Mother Earth too. This looks so good compared to what it looked like before. What a great transformation. Worth doing, worth Dulux.